Hi Spartans, today I wanna to walk you through some facts and information about North Carolina, Greensboro, and UNCG. I wanna share some of the things that you can do in the area and what's available to you as a member of the UNCG community to help you feel a little bit more acquainted with your new home. First, I'm gonna introduce you to some of the Spartan Orientation staff that are also out-of-state students that are available to you as resources. I'm gonna start by introducing you to Aaliyah Robinson. She's originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She's a sophomore at business, business administrations major. And then I'm gonna introduce you to Alexis Mark, who is from the Greensboro area now. She's a sophomore kinesiology major. So if you wanna get some more information about being out of state and getting comfortable with the area, they are two great people to get in contact with if you have any sort of questions and just wanna feel a little bit more comfortable. So where are y'all from? We'd love to know where y'all are coming from. So in the comments below, if you wanna list the city or state so we can get a better idea of where all of our new Spartans span. First, welcome to North Carolina. This is kind of a breakdown of the state and you can see where Greensboro sits. Greensboro is a part of the triad, which makes up three of the largest major cities in North Carolina. Greensboro is actually the geographical center of the state, is also known as Gate City. One of the main roads in Greensboro is called Gate City Boulevard. So what's it like living in Greensboro, if we're talking about weather? In the summer, you've got an average of 85. It's really pretty clear skies, maybe some occasional rain in the fall. You have an average high of 65, beautiful color changes, beautiful tree colors. Make sure you wear layers for that breezy, really pretty fall weather. In winter, the average high of 45, we can get between two to six inches of snow with an average of 20, an average low of 20, so make sure you bring flannel PJs. And then in the spring, the average high of 70. So bring rain boots, have allergy meds ready. Greensboro, North Carolina really allow you to experience all four of the seasons. When getting around Greensboro, if you don't have a car, there's a lot of free options. You have the Spartan Chariot, which is an on-campus bus system. There's HEAT, which stands for Higher Education Area Transit, which is a transportation between different universities and colleges in the area. And then there's the GTA, the Greensboro Transit Authority, which is a public bus system. And that you can use. There's also some cost options for transportation. There's zip cars, which is a car sharing program, or line bikes, where you can rent bikes to ride. For more long distance travel, there's a couple of airport options. There's the Piedmont Triad International Airport, which is in Greensboro and it's pretty close to campus, or there's the Raleigh and Charlotte Airport. So you can also utilize those. For buses and trains, there's the Jade Douglas Galen Depot or the Greyhound Megabus Amtrak option. So a little bit more about Greensboro. It's the third largest city in North Carolina. There's approximately 285,000 residents and 20,000 plus students at UNCG. It's named after Nathaniel Green, who was a commander during the Revolutionary War and in the Battle of Guilford Courthouse forced the British to abandon their quest for the Carolinas and head north to Virginia. So what about downtown life? There's the International Civil Rights Museum, the Greensboro Historical Museum, Carolina Theater, there's a Cultural Arts Center, and Blandwood Mansion. We're home to the Storm, which is a D-League basketball team that plays in the Coliseum. There's tons of restaurants and coffee shops, LaBauer Park, and then our local baseball team, the Greensboro Grasshoppers. And there's tons of other stuff to do in Greensboro. You have Piney Lake, which is owned by UNCG that UNCG students can use. There's the Greensboro Science Center, Greensboro Arboretum, Wet n Wild Emerald Point, Weatherspoon Art Museum, which is located on UNCG's campus. And then we have the Greensboro Coliseum, which is where UNCG's men's basketball play, the Greensboro Swarm plays there, and then there's speakers, concerts, and a ton more. There are a ton of shopping options. There's Friendly Center, Four Seasons Mall, lots of options on Wendover Avenue, and then of course, downtown Greensboro. Right next to campus is a road called Tate Street, which has tons of dining options, coffee shops, little shops that you can go in, and it's super convenient being located right next to us. And then of course, if you're not from the South, we love sharing some of our favorite cuisines down here, especially the ones that are actually founded in North Carolina. 
We have Pepsi, which is a huge drinking company. Bojangles Fried Chicken, the delicious Krispy Kreme Donut, Cheerwine, which if you haven't tried it, you have to. And then everyone's favorite late night cheap drive through option, Cookout, which was actually founded right here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And then of course on UNCG's different social medias and websites, there's constantly updating with events that are happening around the area and stuff that you can do while here in Greensboro. We also just wanted to give some tips for students. Everyone gets homesick, so don't feel bad if you're just missing it a little bit extra one day. Everybody has those days. Make sure you're keeping in touch back home. That's your network to feel like you have a connection to home. Create a countdown by keeping track of how many days until you get to go back home. But while you are here, be active and get involved and try and find your place here and try and make new friends and make a new home here in Greensboro. Have friends and family from home come visit and show them the area and introduce them to your new home. And then if you can't go home for a break, tag along with some friends and get out of the area so you can get a break from school. Some tips for parents and family. Make sure you check in even when they say they don't need you to. Just give them that little extra bit of attention. Knowing when there's those stressful times and breaks and make sure you're there to support them through those times. Stay connected to UNCG. We have our family weekend from September 25th to the 27th, which is a great thing for families to participate in. Join the Spartan Family Network and then read the Spartan Family Connections monthly newsletter. Another great opportunity for out-of-state students are the out-of-state student reception, which will be in the coming fall and more information about those dates will be distributed to you. And then if you have any sort of questions, feel free to contact the students I mentioned before or contact our office, which is the Office of New Student Transitions and First Year Experience. You can reach us at soar at uncg.edu or by phone at 336-334-5231. Thanks for listening and have a great rest of your day.